Don't you want one, Kay? No, Simone, I don't want one. I want two, but I can't. I have to stay slim and slinky for my night of passion with Miguel. There's more to a relationship than passion, you know, Kay. Oh, like you're an expert, Simone. I just don't want to see you rush into something that could have an effect on your entire life. Stop being such a downer. I'm trying to be a friend. Oh, oh my God. What? It's Miguel. All right. One more time, win a prize. Catch me, I'm gonna faint, Simone. That boy can ring my bell anytime. <laughs> Go get a sandwich or something. Simone, you must have the metabolism of an elephant. No, I don't want a sandwich. I told you I had to stay slinky. Miguel. Sorry, Kay. You all right? Just fine. Um, listen, Simone and I were just going to the book cafe to get something to eat. Do you want to join us? I'd love to, but I'm meeting Whitney. Maybe I can catch up with you guys there later. Okay. All right. Let's get over to the cafe right now. Um, you can do that research on the computers. I'll get some stuff. It's not fair. What's well, not fair, Kay? You can eat a sandwich and a muffin and not gain a pound. Well, look at you. Your thumb is a rail. Here, have half my muffin. It's poppy seed, your favorite. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's Miguel. And he's with my sister. Two sodas, please. As <sighs> God is my witness, I will never eat muffins again. That's a little extreme now, isn't it, Kay? Yeah, but there's no sacrifice too great if will help me get Miguel. And I will get him, Simone. You'll see. Hey, Jessica. Hi, Miguel. Miguel, Whitney, come sit with us. There's my sister and Kay. You mind if we stay here? I kind of want to talk to you about something. Sure. Uh, thanks anyway, but we're okay over here. Whatever. Maybe later. Let me guess. You want to talk to me about your sister? Teresa's been on her new job for a couple of hours already. Don't look so worried, Miguel. We haven't heard any screams from the other end of the town yet. <laughs> How do you think she's handling it? I mean, the cannery's the one place Teresa swore she'd never work. <laughs> and the timing couldn't be worse. For her to start work in a factory full of slimy fish on the same day all her dreams of Ethan Crane got shattered? <sighs> this has to be the worst night of Teresa's life. So let's go over my plan again. So what's this project, Naked Men? I'm gonna have a contest here at the carnival tomorrow. To choose Mr. Harmony, all the guys have to wear bathing suits. <laughs> I like that idea. But how is that gonna get Miguel interested in you as a woman? Well, I'll make sure Miguel wins first prize. Which is? Dinner with a surprise date. And let me guess, that surprise date is you. Right. So what's the big deal? It's not like you and Miguel haven't had dinner before. I hardly count pizza with Miguel and half the softball team as dates, Simone. This is gonna be just the two of us. I'll choose a romantic restaurant, wear a sexy dress, we'll sip champagne by moonlight. So what do you think? I think that if anybody can pull this off, you can, Kay Bennett. <laughs> well, we just had to keep my plan a secret because the last person I wanna find out is Jessica. Mark my words, Simone Russell. By tomorrow night, these very lips will be fastened on Miguel's. You don't have to be so graphic with me, Kay. <laughs> Come on, I'm eating. Get lost, Jessica. No problem. I was just wondering how your plan to trap Miguel is coming along. Shut up, or I'll tell everyone in here how you use Dad's razor to shave under your arms. I wonder what they're talking about. One guess, Miguel. Boys. And with Kay Bennett in the middle, hmm, probably some wild scheme to trap one. You're kidding. That's not the Kay I know. <laughs> Miguel, you are a guy. You have no idea what girls really talk about. But I know Kay. I mean, she's my bud. 
You know, I, I, I even kept her on my softball team after the guys got on me for picking a girl. I didn't say I didn't like her. I'm just saying, according to Simone, Kay's got some imagination. Can't be as wild as my sister's. Nobody's got an imagination like hers. I mean, only Teresa could truly believe that she would marry Ethan Crane, be the mistress of his mansion, and live country club style for the rest of her life. She'd still be planning that wedding with Ethan if she hadn't seen him propose to someone else with her own eyes. I don't know about you, but I'm glad it happened so she can finally move on with her life. Say something, Whitney. Anybody else would move on after what happened today. But you know as well as I do, Miguel, Teresa's not like other people. We had a deal, Minnie Mind. I let you borrow my beeper for a month in exchange for you keeping your mouth shut about me liking Miguel. I invented your stupid kitchen chores for you. Cool your jets, Kate. Miguel didn't hear me. I haven't given away your big, passionate secret. Yeah, but I know how your devious mind works, Jessica. You won't come right out and tell Miguel to drop these great big hints all over the place so he'll have to guess. No, I won't. I swear. You better mean it. Or I'll do a lot more than take my beeper back. One night when you're sound asleep, I'll cut off all your hair until you're completely bald. You wouldn't dare. Want to bet? Would you two stop it? Why do you fight so much? You have a sister too, Simone. Whitney and I argue sometimes, but not like this. Why are you so mean to Kay? Me? She wrote the book on torture. Remember the time she tricked me into thinking you were having a girls only masquerade party? And I dressed like a lifeboat from the Titanic. And when I got there, everyone was dressed normally and there were boys? I forget that. And how about when she ratted on me to my parents for subscribing to that Leonardo DiCaprio poster a month series? I forgot that too. Well, I didn't. No way am I the mean sister in the Bennett family. Kay started this war. I'm only defending myself. If I don't, she'll walk all over me. Or worse, you know she will, Simone. Tell her where to put it, Simone. Well, um, she does have a point. I'm gonna forget you said that because of our very long and deep friendship. Buzz off. My best friend and I have important things to discuss. Important personal things you couldn't possibly understand. Like how far you'll go to get Miguel to look at you as anything more than a pal? Forget it. Unless you're gonna use hypnosis or drugs. I'm warning you, Jessica. Scram! Whatever you say, sister dearest. I just love my beeper. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to ask you. Is my mystery boyfriend page me again? Sorry. I guess whoever it was must have had to go back to the asylum. No, nope. no more messages from my big sister. And I do mean big sister. Watch it, will you, Reese? This is a new outfit. Oh, no, Kay. I'm sorry. Did it get you? Lucky for you, Reese. You just missed. Oh. That's good. I'm sorry. You said that. What are you kicking me for? It's just Reese. Just Reese is a good friend of Miguel's. Did you forget that, or do you want Miguel to see you being mean to him? Oh my gosh, you're right. You don't think Miguel saw me, do you? No, I think you're lucky, but next time you better be a little nicer. Hey, Miguel. Hey, what's up, Reese? Okay, so my sister's not like other people, but we both watched her rip all those pictures of Ethan off of her wall. I mean, if that's not finally getting the message, I don't know what is. I just hope you're right, Miguel. I mean, you know your sister as well as I do. Well, if you're talking about Teresa, I dropped her off at the cannery a couple hours ago for her first night of work. And he doesn't even have any claw marks on his face. Yeah, no claw marks, <laughs> little brother. But she didn't even give me one word of complaint. Are you sure it was Teresa that you dropped off there? Okay, stop it. Both of you. Let me tell you about Teresa. I am so proud of her. She's finally put Ethan Crane out of her mind for good. <laughs>